demonstration, we're going to see how to log into a Google Chrome browser, whether it's using a cloudbook, laptop, or desktop computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. To start, I've opened up my Google Chrome browser, and I'm going to go up near the address bar to this circular icon and click on it. Next, I'm going to click on this blue button. Mine says turn on sync, but yours might also say sign into Chrome. It doesn't really matter what it says, you're going to go ahead and click. My TCDSB Google account is my username at tcdsb.ca. So that's what I'm going to enter here. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next. On this next screen, because I'm not signing in from a board computer and I'm not on a school board site, I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and my password. Note that this time I don't have to put the at tcdsb.ca. And I click sign in. This next set of screens is pretty important. On this first screen, I'm being asked to verify my account. So yes, this is me, my username at tcdsb.ca. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. In this pop-up, I'm being asked to link data. Because it's a school board account, the school board can customize settings on their users' board accounts. One example of a way the school board manages accounts is by preloading certain extensions that they've purchased the license for. So I'm going to go ahead and click link data. In this next pop-up, I'm being asked whether I want to turn on sync. So when you turn on sync, you allow information like bookmarks to be synced on all devices that you log into with your school account. So if I save a bookmark while I'm logged into my TCDSB account while I'm on a school device, I can access that same bookmark from a personal device at home when I sign in. So again, I'm going to go ahead, click the blue button, yes, I'm in. I know that I've logged in properly because I see all of my bookmarks that have been saved before by me on my school board account. So they're right there. And I also see the two extensions that the school board has pre-populated for me, which is Equatio and also Read and Write. Now, you may get a pop-up at some point, uh, particularly for Equatio and for Read and Write when it's your first time logging in. Uh, they just want to verify that it's your account. So I'm going to do that because I recognize this extension as one that I've downloaded and I'm going to click Allow. So that should happen with your Equatio and your Read and Write accounts. And that's it for logging in.